Speaking of fire departments, they do a lot more than battle fires. They also respond to other emergencies like train accidents, car crashes, or really run the gamut to keep our firefighters prepared for every scenario. And a couple local departments are getting some federal dollars to do that. That's right. And our Washington correspondent, Rachel Knapp, she joins us live from the U.S. Capitol with more on this. Rachel. Good evening, Nick and Renata. So in total, about $1.2 million will be shared among a handful of New York State fire departments. We spoke with one local fire department about the federal dollars coming their way and why they need it. Because we're kind of out here in rural America, um, we do all facets of the job. We don't just do fire, we're fire, we're EMS, we're rescue. Um, we're counted on for a lot of services. The Hornell Fire Chief says each year they sit down and analyze what their department's needs are. Things age, um, they get old. Uh, we want our people to have the best, the safest equipment to, 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 to make sure that they're ready to do the job and quite frankly, to keep our public safe. The chief says some of their current equipment they're using is a little outdated and can limit their movements. If somebody's trapped in there with something that's on top of them, a heavy beam or a, an item that we can't get them out, we could never get the spreader tools or the, the jaws into there um, because of our umbilical cords and stuff that we were attached to to the truck. But that's all about to change. New York Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Chuck Schumer recently announced over $1.2 million in federal funding is headed to a handful of New York fire departments. About $110,000 from that is going to Hornell. The money is from FEMA's Assistance to Firefighters Grant Program, a program that helps departments get protective gear, training, and supplies. This year, um, the grant we went after was for rescue tools, a set of spreaders, uh, what we call cutters, jaws of life, uh, ram tools that can do lifting, raising. The chief says the new equipment will help with their response time and keeping people safe. Now with the new tools, they're all portable. Take them right inside, right where the incident is, get them out quick and, and get back outside. Keeps our firemen safe, keeps the public safe, and, and the uh, delay in time is a lot less. In a press release, it says these competitive grants are awarded to applicants that most closely meet the program's requirements and demonstrate a commitment to its priorities. Nick, back to you.